back of my head Just in case I have to run I do what I can when I can while I can for my people As the clouds roll back and the stars fill the night That's when I'm gonna stand up Take my people with me Together we are going to a brand new home Far across the river Can you hear freedom calling Calling me to answer Gonna keep on keeping on I can feel it in my bones So we see in your program, I was told I'm the only one that provides feedback, so I'm a backup. Um, we see in your programs, I'm a big theme dude, uh, but this here we have like little mini themes within each, each song here. Uh, the first one was the theme of wonder. 
and it's just about you know I wonder what it'll be like if these things happen you know um, uh, you know no no more troubles friends shaking hands asking how you do you know what if we lived in that kind of a world you know where we could do that um, this next section that you hear is unity and this first song is called stand up what's called stand up uh, from the movie Harriet and it's just all about you know taking those taking your loved ones taking those that are struggling with you taking them together and like going somewhere to freedom here you're going to hear the seventh graders here they're going to sing two songs about being together um, and just to, just to, just to um, uh, complete this section of unity here
Uh, so that bit, that section there with concert choir and eighth grade choir was all about familiar, familiarity. Um, they sing the water is wide, the eighth grade sing. It's a familiar tune we all know. And of course, who doesn't know Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah, whether from Shrek or whether from listening when Leonard Cohen wrote it. Um, this next section here is all about being fearless. And this is probably my favorite, um, probably one of my favorite words because so, in so many of these, in all of these choirs here, so many of these students um, have definitely exhibited fearlessness whether it's you know doing the solo for the first time um, some of them went to large group for the first time our whole eighth grade choir went there for the first time in years um, some uh, some junior hires they went to honor fest for the first time and uh, they exhibited that fearlessness in choirs with strangers and in choirs of their own people here and this song here that you're going to hear is called wide open spaces and uh, at the beginning of the school year, uh, I picked this song out for chamber choir, and uh, we rehearsed it, and then I did not intentionally put it away, but I put it away. Uh, everything else got, got in the way. And um, one, of my, one of our students here had asked about it this semester, I said, what about wide open spaces? And it did hit me that I chose that, you know, for these particular group of students here, because there's so much out there for them to see. This song here exhibits that, you know, I'm going to be fearless, I'm going to go ahead and take the first step into the unknown, if you will. And I could not be prouder of all four of these choirs here this year because of what, they, what they've done this year, the progress that they've made, and the fearlessness that they, that they have exhibited and demonstrated. So here is Wide Open Spaces, and I hope you enjoy it.
this next song you're going to hear, uh, again, uh, like I said, my favorite section, um, is called, is a mashup between two songs. One is called You'll Be Found from Dear Evan Hansen, and the other song is called Tonight um, from, from Hamilton. And both songs are beautifully uh, woven together, um, creating the same message here. Um, just pretty much saying that, you know, we, we, we have not yet reached what it is we want to reach, but I am willingly, um, I am happily, uh, and I will, I will definitely be, wow, I am happily ready and I'm willingly um, um, able to go into this battle of life, as you call it. Whatever it is you all, they want to achieve, you know, we're going to get into this journey uh, fearlessly. We're going to get into this journey with confidence. And then finally, down the road, somebody will be able to tell our story. Somebody's going to be like, they did that. And so <laughs> I hope you enjoy this mashup here of You Will Be Found and Tonight.
So coming up next, we have uh, this theme of support here. And uh, before we like, get into it, uh, one, these eighth graders uh, last Friday or maybe two Fridays ago, I don't know what I have for breakfast this morning. Um, so maybe it was two Fridays ago, they ventured off to large group, junior high large group at Marion Harding High School. In the first time, and I don't know how many years I've gotten ever, I've gotten 20, but it's been a long time. Um, I could tell them every day what they're what they're what to expect here, but they still had no idea what to expect. But these folks right here, they took on the challenge. They may have been nervous. I never got a hint of that. They got to contest and they represented Faustoria well, and they came home with their very first excellent in large group. And so, I want to give a round of applause to these students here. <laughs> And the first song you heard by them, The Water is Wide, was one. And this next one you're going to hear is called Didn't My Lord Deliver Daniel.
This next song you're going to hear in this theme here of support is called Watch Me Fly. Now, I must admit, when I started this with the seventh graders, they thought it was about butterfly metamorphosis and all that. I'm like, nope, it's not a science lesson at all. Um, but as we, got, as we got more deeper into the poem of it, um, we realized that it's basically saying, you know, I was comfortable, you know, comfortable in that cocoon. It's safe, it's dry, it's warm. But whoever it is in their lives here that, you know, pushed them to be the people that they are today, you know, this song is a, is a song of gratitude for that. Thank you for pushing me out of that cocoon. Thank you for pushing me out of that comfort zone. Um, and these students here from October to now, you can definitely tell that they, that they have um, fled far away from that comfort zone here as people, as amazing young people, and as musicians here. So please enjoy Watch Me Fly.
right, so we are nearing the end. Uh, this is when I talk the most, but it's just two seconds. Um, I do, um, this is where I um, present your class of 2023 to you. Uh, and so it is like, been my utmost pleasure um, of watching these young people, watching these seniors here grow from freshmen all the way up to here. Now they are 12th graders, leaders of the pack. So I'm going to call them and I'm going to present them with a rose because they've earned it. Uh, many of them, I think if not all of them, have been in choir since seventh grade. And so that speaks a lot about Faustoria. That speaks a lot about choir and it speaks a lot about them. These are, these are good people in case you haven't noticed. These are amazing young men and women. And and these are your people. These are your people in the, in the community of Faustoria. These are your people here singing for you. And they deserve the best. They deserve nothing but the best. And then some, and then some. And so I've told them that, you know, within the pa over the past few weeks here, that, that they, they deserve every good that comes their way. Um, every good that happens to this program is because of them. They created quite an environment in the choir room here that people who aren't even in choir, never seen a day in my life, enjoy coming in there simply because of the environment that they created. And it is, like I said, it's been just an honor. It's been a privilege to sit here and be their choir director. And I couldn't be happier to present to you your class of 2023. So when I call their name, give them a hearty cheer because they deserve it. Um, and oh, here we go. Okay, so as I call their name, they're going to come on up to the riser, to the front riser here. Um, she couldn't be with us today, um, prior obligations, um, but I do want to recognize Christiana Branch is the first name here. So even in her absence, we want to <laughs> cheer for her. <laughs> Phaedra Burrier. Uh, Lauren Cervolo. <laughs> Alex, oh, sorry, um, Alexandria Dog and Ball. <laughs> Draven Dorfer. Raven Hardiman. Gracie Heatherly. Madison Noss. Ramel Rickman. Brittany Sprouse. <laughs> Olivia Strickland. <laughs> Angel Stewart. and Libby Welly. <laughs> the class of 2023. So as the high school choirs come up, chamber choir and concert choir is going to come up and join them. Uh, they work together. They chose their senior song. They chose when to meet. They chose who sang what. I just waved my hands and taught the choir parts. Um, so this song here is too good at goodbyes.
must think that I'm stupid. You must think that I'm a couple things to say on behalf of the senior class. <laughs> so I'd like to start off with thanking everyone for coming out tonight and supporting us all throughout our choir journey. Though, unlike how I told you, that is not the main focus of me coming before you tonight. As many of you know, this is Mr. McBride's last performance with Foster Area Schools. Unfortunately, this isn't a rare thing for this district. Throughout my six years in this building alone, I have gone through three different directors. McBride is the only one to have stuck around for longer than a year. I will never be able to convey just how much McBride means to me, to the seniors, and to the entire choral program. But we hate to see you go. We know that whatever school is lucky enough to have you next will be just as impacted as we are. 
to show our appreciation, we got you a couple things. Though the pride in having you teach us is beyond any material value. Good luck in the rest of your journey. You will be missed. Okay, I'm glad I picked a comical song to end with. Um, but like I said, everything remains true. What I said before is that it's been my up no, utmost privilege and honor. I was not even planning on like even talking about that today. It was all about them. We were going to have a good time, and here they go. Um, but yes, it, it has been amazing. Um, there are 13 seniors, and I, I bought 13, I bought 14 robes here. And because over the past four years, um, this lady has been, woo! All right, we're back. Um, this lady has been my mentor teacher. Um, she's been, she's been um, my rock when I didn't think I was doing the best. Um, she's always like reassured me that it's all right, you're fine. And if you know me, you, you know that I'm always through the roof. You don't know if I'm excited or if I'm nervous. Um, but, but this lady has definitely, like over the years here, have definitely gave me a lot of sense of relief to know that, you know, I'm, I'm where I need to be as being able with being a choir director. Um, like she's been with us for every concert here. Uh, she's not seen often, but she should be, and she should get um, a bunch of accolades and a bunch of credit here. And if I had like a million dollars, she deserves every single penny of that because she works tirelessly at the elementary school. If you've seen any of the elementary programs, like you, you see how amazing she is. And then she comes over here, make time out of her day to come and work with us um, with our schedule, and then here she is right now tonight. We don't know how long my concerts are going to be, but she's always right there. And um, to say I appreciate her is an understatement. To say she's been um, just a, a, an amazing accompanist is another understatement here. But because my vocabulary is limited, that's, you know, what you get from me today. But um, I honestly, like 100%, wholeheartedly cannot, could not have done this without Mrs. Santos. So I know she's way up there, but I want to ask you to come on down and receive a robe here, a robe here. song might be a little bit controversial depending on if you go see the musical or not. Uh, this is called For Now and it is probably the best and cleanest and most innocent song from the musical Avenue Q. Don't look it up until uh, two years later. Um, no, I'm just kidding. It's wonderful. But basically, you know, it's um, a comical way of just letting you know that don't take things so seriously. You know, um, everything is just for now. Pain is just for now. Suffering is just for now. Even happiness is just for now until you find your next bit of happiness there. Um, one of those lines that I, that I love here, and please forgive me, is like, you know, except for death and paying taxes, everything is for now. Comical, dark, but true. And so this whole, like, this whole school year, you know, I just do not want to take things too seriously because it's just for now. Like right now, sadness, whatever you're feeling, is for now because you're going to eventually move on to the next thing, to the next happy, um, and to your next journey here. So thank you again for coming, and please enjoy for now.
Big Brown.